you know, he's dying of a very serious disease. We're going to check out how he takes this and uh, his rare view on life coming up at his, 720. His story is amazing. I heard your interview. Um, also, for the Vitality Challenge, I'm doing it. I've lost a little weight. I'll show you what I take for minerals, and we'll talk about why you need them. And in the 8 o'clock hour, we're going to celebrate Cinco de Mayo. 730. But first, his take it as it comes outlook on life is an, an inspiration as Reggie McDaniel is fighting for his life. Coming up, Reggie tells us all about it. Stay tuned. You know, ideas and inventions come from people in all walks of life. Know him by his name, his look, or his trademark phrase. 52-year-old Reggie McDaniel is our resident movie reviewer. He's also a reviewer on the local radio waves. Now, Reggie works hard seven days a week. He's funny, kind, a speak-your-mind kind of man. But Reggie is suffering from a terminal illness. The same man who makes many of us smile knows he's dying. How you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. How you doing this morning? I'm wonderful. You can't deny his sense of style. How you doing? I'm wonderful, thanks. And you? Yes, you are. <laughs> Aww. I'm keeping him around for a long time. He's good for the ego. Or his sense of humor. He is getting too old to be an action hero. Really? Yes, he is. What do you mean? By his look, his no, physical he's appearance? Old. He by many could leave this world in days, weeks, months, or years. To be told that your turn is soon is uh, depressing. It really is depressing. Uh, you have a couple of choices. Uh, you can either let it get you down, you can try to deny it, or you can try to overcome it. Reggie has idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, IPF. It's a disease that scars the lungs for no known reason. Eventually, oxygen can't be taken in, and carbon dioxide cannot be removed. Very similar to the scars one gets when one has a wound. It heals, and there's a scar form. The problem in many types of pulmonary fibrosis is that this scarring process continues. Dr. Marvin Schwartz is internationally recognized for his expertise in pulmonary fibrosis. He's working hard to find therapies to treat those affected and through chairing the Coalition for Pulmonary Fibrosis, Dr. Schwartz is working to educate the public about IPF. In the meantime, we're also trying to find effective therapies uh, even without knowing for sure what the causation is. Unfortunately, 50% of patients die within two to three years of diagnosis. Reggie is beating the odds of this mysterious disease. With the help of oxygen and medicine, he's lived with IPF for five years. With faith and with a positive attitude, you can really overcome anything. Reggie spent 20 years in the military, not a day of regret two marriages and one daughter later he works hard plays hard and loves his life he even chose to turn down the only effective therapy for treating ipf a lung transplant this is just so much fun see i have fun with me i'm really comfortable with me reggie says he doesn't fear death if i've done what i think i can do and what i think i should do then i don't mind that Besides, he has a lot of questions to ask. As who washed the dishes after the last supper? I want to know stuff like that. I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who was the road guard for the wise men? Who gave them directions? Reggie McDaniel. He's known for his kindness. All right, dear. His style. All right, dear. And his trademark phrase. All right, dear. And through it all, he lives with one mantra. You got to love like you've never been hurt. You got to work like you don't need the money. And you got to dance like nobody's watching. Bye-bye, y'all. Bye. What an incredible man he is. Reggie McDaniel fell into the movie reviewing business. Get this, he happened to call KOA one day as a listener. That call turned into a long-term on-air relationship. Then his career just blossomed from there. Very ironic. By the way, Reggie will be here at around 8.05 this morning to review this week's flicks. Well, one of the ironies is, is that for many people, death is a way of providing an urgency or a value to life. Right. Because you have to do the things you need to do before your time is up. Uh, Reggie's a guy who doesn't need that clock. No. He, he already doesn't. has all those values, so it's a shame that, uh, unfortunately, his clock appears to be running too fast. Yeah. And he, he says point man. blank that his faith is the reason that he's able to deal with it as well as he does. 
Well, that's part of what makes him so remarkable. He is he, amazing. He's a unique man. Well, we have uh, good uh, weather for Reggie's arrival this morning. He'll have clear skies.